fact, building with AI and you're not checking for compliance, you're playing with fire. One wrong move and you're exposed to lawsuits, shutdowns and even worse, reputational damage. But here's the good news. I built an AI agent that automatically checks your use case, whether it's legally safe and it will give you feedback. And today I'll show you exactly how I built it using init and no code, just automation. Now this AI compliance agent works like a real time legal assistant. You send it your name, your industry, your geographical region and your AI use case. And it will check the current AI laws and compliance and regulations using Gemini AI. And then it will return a checklist of what you need to be compliant. Simple enough, right? And finally, it will store all that data in your Google Sheet or your Slack or your channel, wherever your team is asking for this information so that they can stay informed. Now, this is not just for legal teams. This is built for AI product teams, agency owners, SaaS founders, and even freelancers or solo builders using GPT, Gemini, Cloud, or anything AI. If you want legal clarity without hiring lawyers, this is a solution. Now let's quickly talk about the tech stack. This will just have an N, which is a low code or a no code automation platform. We'll use Gemini for legal analysis. We'll use Telegram or Slack for input and output. And finally, Google Sheets so that we can store all that data and have a compliance history. Now let's just jump into init n and see how it works. And then finally, when we are done, you can download it for your use case, plug and play and enjoy. No strings attached. All right, uh, we are in init n. Let's just jump in and see how it works. So, um, okay, before we start, I have drawn the flow in Excalidro. I like doing this so that I know how the information flows from one point to the other and what tools we'll know. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. And what tools we'll require and also if there are any potential bottlenecks. So uh, we'll send our input from Telegram. You can do this from Slack as well. Um, this will be a message containing the name, the use case, the industry and the geographical region. And then it will go into an LLM. Um, you can use any chat model. I have used Gemini. And it will pass our output to extract the name, the geography, the industry, and the use case. So that we can then send it to a Google Sheet and have a data trail of the compliance, um, you know, all the information that's coming in. And then we'll send that da data to Gemini API. Again, you can use perplexity also as well. You have to use something, a chat model or LLM that can give you results based on live searches instead of an LLM that is trained on an older data because for compliance and legal requirements, we have to have the updated database and you cannot use data from 2021 if you know what I mean. And then we'll send it again to Google Sheets where we stored the data of name, use case, etc. We'll update the sheet row with the recommendation based on the use case and the industry and the geographical region. And then it will send the output back to Telegram. Simple enough. So now let's just jump in and our Telegram, our trigger is Telegram. And when somebody sends a message, then it should trigger, so on message. And then um, I've already connected it to my Telegram account, so you'll need to do it. And then the next step is AI agent. Now we need AI agent instead of a information extractor because we need the output in a certain format and information extractor would just give us the output not divided in a certain format so yeah okay so we'll have to define it below actually we'll need to run the first node so that we can define what the input is so 
let's go to telegram and send it a message hi my name is Kritika and I am from India I am building an AI compliance bot for my marketing agency let's see if it works what is the outstanding issue let's see okay let's just first remove that and now test it out Cool, it got the message. Now we'll connect it to an AI agent so that we can divide the data into different fields that we can use for crafting the appropriate response. So define below and we'll use the text. Now we need the output in a certain format. So we'll activate required specific output format and now Use extract use extract name use case industry and geographical region. That's all we require. Let's test the step. Oh, we need to connect it to a chat model, of course. So, right now I'm using Gemini. You can use any chat model you like. Mm. Any is fine, actually. And then we have to put our output parser so that we can get the data in a certain format. I am going to give it an example in JSON for the format but you don't necessarily have to do it it already understands what to do actually I can just edit it and if you see it's simple enough uh, so we'll say name mm, John and then industry example fintech let's say region is Australia I think it should be able to understand it from this much then we'll need to connect it to a Google sheet where we can gather this data so I've already connected my Google credentials so you'll need to do that first and we'll append a row I'll choose the sheet and we need to map the columns so okay we need to run the node first I think there's a problem in the JSON hmm there's a comma in the end okay let's see if it works It. and you'll see that now it has divided the data into name, industry, region and it did not give me the use case oh it's taking name as the use case which is wrong let's see
Let's see if it works now. Still not doing it correctly. And this is the best part about debugging as you build it so that you understand where the bug is and you can debug right away instead of building the whole workflow and then realizing that something is wrong and you have to go back to the first node and figure out what's wrong. So perfect, it worked better. Now we'll connect it to Google Sheet where we can gather this data. So append row. And yeah, we have connected our sheet here. Now we need to map value to the output. So I'll just drag and drop it from my schema. Name and then industry and then use case. And region, we don't need output and recommendation right here. Let's see if it works. Amazing. It has given, and we'll actually, we should also see the sheet. So you can see here that it has divided the data into each column and mapped it out correctly. Now we need to send it to another AI node, I think basic LLM chain will work because um, we're just, you know, giving it a user message and also a system message. It should just craft the compliance uh, documentation based on that. We don't need another AI agent. So the use, the user message would be the text that is coming in and the system message will be that you are an AI legal compliance assistant who will craft compliance recommendations based on the region, the industry, the use case and then craft a message to the user explaining what they need to do to be compliant. Just like how you talk to ChatGPT, right? Okay, let's test the step. Again, we need to connect it to a model. <laughs> So, any model is fine. Now let's test it. What? Okay, let's just connect it to different model because Gemini does not like us today. Definitely does not like us today. Let's try this. Stop. It usually takes some time and amazing. So now we have an output and a message. Again, the Google Sheet um, node is totally optional, but I like 
to keep a trace and a log of the data. So I am putting it. You can ex you can skip this. Again, we'll select our sheet and then we just need to map the recommendation which is the text that our LLM chain is giving us. Let's test it out and you'll see that it has given us the message. Now we just need to send it back to the telegram so that uh, the team can stay informed. Send the text message and the chat ID will remain same. Uh, if this is a channel you can just put the ID for that. So I'll just drag and drop this from my schema and the text will be the text or you can also put the recommendation here and then that's it. Let's test it out. Bad request. This was a good request. Huh. I think let's just do it properly again. So I'll go here with the chat ID and then let's put the recommendation here and test it out. My parameters are right buddy. I'll just do it again. Send the text message and the text will be an expression because it will change and then just the chat ID and it should work. And let's see. Sometimes there's a problem with Telegram API. I know this because I ran into this earlier as well when I was showing this to my husband. So it may be that. Let's see. You can see here that I received a message earlier when I sent it. So it's just a matter of the API not working correctly. But this is basically how it works. I'm going to paste this workflow below. You can download it and use it for yourself. Play with it and Connect with me on LinkedIn if you have any problems or if you have any questions. Yeah, let me know if there's any feedback. Thanks.